Okay, folks, this is Fred, and uh, I had to put this on video just so you folks can appreciate <laughs> the variation here in cranks. Oh my god. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's, it's, it's just illustrating the need to improve the cranks on these engines. Um, here's one of the uh, crank halves for a PK80. It's the type with the screw-on weights. Um, here's one of my weights. Here's one of my weights here. It's uh, steel. And, uh, and this is the current uh, weight setting that I'm experimenting on next. And so I want to put a crankshaft together and these weights screw on there. All right, so if I put the first half in. Let's bump it over and you will see. All right. Look, the indicator's barely moving. Um, I, I was like, wow, this is great. Now, this is what a crank half should be like. It's totally concentric. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a great crank to work with. All right, let's get the second one. So, got the second one in. By the way, this is a precision uh, six-jaw chuck in perfect shape, and it's been checked and so you know you know that these bearing journals are the surface that's being referenced okay it's it's held concentric on this bearing uh diameter okay now we'll bump this half over oh yeah look at that there's the indicator and you can see by eye how ridiculous that is uh you got it's just angular misalignment so there was you know when they machined this half, they didn't put it in the chuck right. There was a chip in there or something. And, and when they machined the journal, there it is. Look how off it is. So that is going to just be a problem. Crank forever. It'll never be a, a good crank. And I mean, this was a new engine that I took apart. You know, I, I just take the cranks apart immediately because they're, you know, they have to be checked. That just proves, that just proves it. Um, we put it in once again. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, uh, that's good 10, 12 thousandths of run out. And, um, and that's our cranks. That's our PK80 crank. A lot of cranks have problems. I mean, well, they almost always do. They almost are always messed up. So I thought I'd make that so you guys could get a visual idea of how terrible some of them can be. All right. Well, till next time, we're gonna check. We're gonna check the pin, the pin location, next. Uh, in the other room, uh, I, I, I've got. I've, I have a setup for checking where this hole is located in relation to the. Uh, main bearing journals see if there's a difference there and there probably will be so we'll we'll do that maybe later bye